All right, Shalom, Shalom Israel. Before I get into my lesson, I want to start off giving all praises to Yahweh, by Shem, Yahweh Shai, by Shem, with Kodash, double honors to the apostles and elders at Great Millstone and Ruel, and salutations to the hopeful elect, the brothers, the fellow laborers that's out there pushing his word day in and day out in the ministry of Yahweh, by Shem, Yahweh Shai, through the spirit and power of Yahweh, by Shem, Yahweh Shai, for all truth and sincerity. Uh, this is the brother Shaquat Gabal from the Great Millstone Charlotte Camp coming at you with another lesson, you know, and this message to you so-called Negro, Latinos, and Native Americans, which are the true biblical Hebrew Israelites. But basically, I'm going to just get into a, a quick lesson about how the earth is being defiled, man, you know, and who's in rulership over the earth right now that causing all this mayhem and this turmoil and all these uh, uh, natural disasters, you know, that for, for the earth to be in the condition that's in it now, man. It is you so-called white people, man. You Edomites, man. Starting with your elites on down, man. You know, you're the one that's in the controller of the earth, man. And through your rulership, you have defiled and destroyed the earth, man. Now, I'm majority of the people here in America are bugged out. The animals and the and the uh, plantations, the plants uh, are dying off, you know. You know, the uh, uh, um, uh, the, the water is defiled, the air, the food, under your rulership, man. You Edomites, man. Right along with the rest of you heathens, man. Um, this is Psalms, chapter 82, verse 5. They know not, I'm going to start off at 4. Psalms, chapter 82, verse 4. Um, I'll start off at one. I'll start off at one. Yahweh standeth in the congregation of the mighty. He judgeth among the gods. How long will you judge unjustly and accept, and accept the person of the wicked? Because that's who in rulership right now, man. And David, you know, through the prophecy, you know, know that Esau in the last days is going to be, was going to be ruling in their wickedness, man. Because the Lord set them up. To do their wickedness, man, so he can be justified destroying them, man. And it said, How long will you judge the unjustly accept the person on the wicked? Because we being judged, man, you know, for 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 for, for going against you, how about Shim was shot, you know, and Esau is over us right now, you know, and they're the unjust, they're the wicked, man. Uh, continue on, defend, defend the poor and fatherless. Do justice to the afflicted and needy. And that's the Israelites, man. You know, the nation the, the nation of Israel as a whole, but the only ones that are crying out right now is the elect, man, of the nation of Israel. The ones out there on the highways and byways pushing the truth and uplifting the name of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah, looking for and crying out to the Lord to return to destroy our enemies, man. The, you know, to the, the, the put Esau, Edom, these elites out of power, man. Cause ever since they've been in rulership, they have destroyed the earth, man. You know, and and, 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 and doing it continually, man. And it said, deliver the poor and needy, rid them out of the hand of the wicked. They know not, neither will they understand. They walk on in darkness. All the foundation of the earth are out of course. And that's what, you know, the, what we in now, man. The foundation of the earth is in covering darkness, man. You know, confusion, man. You know, all the agendas that these elites push farther and far more bringing destruction to the earth and to the people of the earth, man. Especially what they're doing, you know, pushing their their agenda to get rid of the Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans. The Lord chosen people, Israel, man. That's why they push homosexuality, transgender, you know, uh, 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 the disease warfare. You know, pestilence, you know, plagues. They don't want causing all this, man. GMO food, you know, uh, uh, poisoning the water, the air, you know. They are uh, 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 pushing on uh, drugs, which is their witchcraft, man. Pharmaceutical, man. They the one that's doing this, man, you know. And it says, all of the foundation of the earth are out of course. And that's what we hear today, man. The earth is out of course, man. The seasons are, are, are bugged out, you know. Days will be hot. Then the next day, next day, you know, it's cold, you know. 
snowing in certain places that usually don't get uh, snow, you know, a lot of rain, a lot of floods, a lot of hurricanes, tornadoes, you know, earthquakes, because the earth is out of uh, uh, order, man, you know. Um, continue on. Uh, no, that's it on that. And the scriptures prove that Esau Edom is the so-called white man. Because he says Esau in the last days is going to be ruling, man. And they were going to be destroying the earth, man. Um, Isaiah chapter 24, verse 4. The earth mourneth and fadeth away. The world languish and fadeth away. The haughty people of the earth do languish. The earth also is defiled under the inhabitants thereof because they are transgressing. They have transgressed the laws and changed the audience and broken the everlasting covenant. And that's what these Edomites have done, man. They say the earth is defiled under the inhabitants thereof, man. Esau, Edom, the, the elites, they have all the money to control, you know, a uh, uh, majority of the, the resources, man. They have the power to do that, man. You know, and they changing the, uh, the way how life's supposed to be, how the earth supposed to be run through the spirit and power. You how about Shem was shot through the law, statutes, the commandments. They changing that, man. You know, promoting GMO food, polluting the water, putting uh, trash into the water, man. They say there's a uh, uh, there's an ocean over there by France where it's an ocean that that's so contaminated. And got so much trash in it that it's the it's the size of France, man. You know, too much pollution, man. You got the the whales and the fishes, you know, you know the uh uh sea sea creatures, uh um bleaching their stuff. You know, they're supposed to be in the the ocean, but they'd rather be on the land, cause that's how defiled the sea is, man. And that's all through the the power uh, of you Edomites, man. You know, defiling the earth. And they say the haughty people, the people, you know, they say that the um the world languish in the faded for way, the haughty people of the earth do languish. Kind cause through Esau ruling the earth, man, there's no other time that it was more people here, you know, in America and throughout the earth dying under his rulership, man. Majority of the earth, the population of the earth are, are, are ill with different cancers and diseases man you know because that's esau ruling man and he's a the harbinger of death man he can't stop uh doing what he what he's doing because the lord set him up that way man to be the the uh uh to be the representation of death itself man because that's what esau know man how to destroy it and how to uh, uh conquer man by his sword man that his blessing man his sword you know the sword represent destruction man you know by any way, uh, form a mean for these Edomites, man. Um, I'm going to get on um, Daniel. This is the book of Daniel. The book of Daniel, chapter 7, verse um, 25. And he shall speak great words against the Most High, and shall wear out the saints of the Most High, and think to change times and laws. And they shall be given into his hand until a time and times, and the dividing of time. And that's, and that's what Esau is doing, man. You know, he's wearing out the saints, man. Who are the saints? You Israelites, man. You Negroes, Latinos, and Native, and Native Americans, man. He's wearing us out, man. You know? Overworking us, man, in these, in these plantation jobs, man, you know. Got us in the, the hoods, the projects, the slums, you know. Pushing all type of wickedness against our people, man. Putting GMO food in the neighborhood, you know. You know, poisoning by the, the liquor, you know, the alcohol, you know. Certain, certain things that they're doing is systematic design to destroy the nation of Israel, man. And every law's... That the Lord set up for the nation of Israel to keep, he's against, man. And he pro promote the wickedness, man. He promote uh, um, swine, eating swine, you know, which is pork, you know. The, uh, these unclean food, you know. 
that we're not supposed to be eating shrimp, lobster, you know. All type of madness, man. Esau is pushing against the scriptures to only to the, the basically to come against the Most High and to come against the children of Israel, the Lord chosen people, man. You know, to keep us down, man, to destroy us, man. You know, and doing through that, man, he'll do anything to get rid of the nation of Israel, even if we have to destroy the earth and even even himself, man, his people, man, and the rest of these heathen nations, man. Um, that's it on that. Because that's who ruling, man, the Edomites, man, you so-called white people, man. No other nation is doing what you're doing, man. And if there are, they are following you, man. Like these Moabites, the Chinese, over there with they, with they uh, nuclear uh, uh, plants, you know, that they, they, they got, you know, polluting over there in the Pacific Ocean, man. You know, through their wickedness that they pushing, man. All that radiation into the ocean, man. They're leaving a lot of uh, uh, animals and fishes dying over there in the Pacific Ocean, man. You know, got, it done gotten so bad that even the radiation that come from them nuclear nuclear uh, plants, even infecting the ocean to the part, well, California, man. Because California is right there on the, in the area of the Pacific Ocean, too, man. You know? Certain people you know they go in that water and come out, you know, skin peel, hair loss, you know, sick. But that's through the defiling of the earth of you devils, man. You Edomites, right along with you, you heathens, man. That also defiling the earth with Esau, man. But Esau being the head. Um, uh, this is Job chapter nine, verse twenty-four. The earth is given into the hand of the wicked. He covered the faces of the judges thereof. If not, where and who and who is he? Counsel, the earth is given into the hand of the wicked, man. Meaning that the wicked is ruling this earth, man. And who's the number one nation in wickedness that's on top, man? That every nation look up to and have to follow their agenda for the moment, man. You Edomites, man. You elites, man. You know, on down, man. You so-called white people, man. You know, it's not the Arabs, it's not the Chinese, it's not the uh, Africans, you know. You know, because all of them are in cahoots with the so-called white man, you know. It's a lock and he's the And he's leading them to that, man. To destroy, to destroy the earth, man, with this so-called New World Order. This New World Order, man. You know, they want to push the RFID chip, which is the mark of the beast, you know. And they have radiation in it, man, that's going to destroy the majority of these people that's going to take it, man, you know, going to lead to cancer, you know, and they saying that, man, a new report saying that, you know, this 5G network is going to lead to radiation, man, and that's what they're going to use, man, this 5G network to push that RFID chip, man, so they can have a signal, you know, the, the, for those um, chips, you know, so they, when they are in, in print it, to the, into these people, incision it to these people, you know, when this dollar collapse and they uh, and, and implement that RFID chip, they're going to give a better signal of how they can stay connected with these people when that chip is implemented in them, man, through that 5G network, and they're going to lead to down cancer, man, diseases, man. Um, it's like it is, yeah. I'm out here in the, you know, in the sun, trying to do this video. Um, and the scriptures prove that Esau is the wicked man, and, and these white people, man, you can tell they, they they are the Edomites and they are the wicked that the Bible speak of, man, through their actions, man. Ever since, like I say, ever since these Edomites, the elites, mainly. You know, on down, came into power, there was nothing but wickedness, man. You know, in the book of uh, the Maccabees tell you, ever since the the Greeks, Alexander the Greek and his four generals, basically when his four, when Alexander the Greek, the, when he died, his four generals reigned in his place. And the Maccabees, the first chapter, they tell you that 
wickedness polluted the earth, man. It was multiplied throughout the earth. Because that's what Esau all, always been known for, man. Wickedness, man. Destruction, man. Um, this is the book of Malachi, chapter 1, verse 4. Whereas Edom said, we are impoverished, but we will return to build the desolate places. This say the Lord of hosts. They shall build, but I will throw down, and they shall call them the border of wickedness, and the people against whom the Lord had indignation forever. So that's proving that Esau is the wicked, man. He said they shall be called the border of wickedness, man. You Esau, Edom. That's your name. That's your nationality, man. You so-called white people, man. And the Lord had indignation, meaning righteous anger, against you so-called white people forever, man. For all the wickedness that you have been have been doing and have done, man. The Lord hasn't forgotten about that, man. You think the Lord forgets? Gonna gonna overlook all the wickedness that you Edomites are doing, man? And have our people going off? Cause you the head, man. You the rulers. You the rulers on the earth, man. And you. Instead of you promoting righteous, what you can't do, you rather promote wickedness because that's all you know. And that's why the majority of the world is in the state that it's in now, man. Following the ways of you wicked Edomites, man. Um, Micah chapter 2, verse 1. Woe unto them that devise iniquity and work evil upon their beds. When the morning is light, they practice it because it is in the power of their hand. Council, that would... And you know, you, you, you Edomites, man, you can't go a day without thinking about some way to bring death and destruction, man, confusion, man, deceiving this, man, you know. And, then, and it's in the power of your hand. The, the, the Lord gave you the power to you Edomites to do what you do, man. The Lord gave you that power, not of your own script, you know. And what the power you're doing with, the power you got, what you're doing with it, man, destroying the earth, destroying the people, man. You know, pushing all this propaganda, you know, your agenda to destroy the majority of the population of the earth, man. You know, and the Lord going to let you run with it for a while, you know, because it's part of the Lord program also to, to, you know, to bring judgment on these nations. You know, two-thirds of our people in these, in these heathen nations, and he's using you, you Edomites, to do it, man, you know, because wickedness is going on so much that the Lord going to, Judge all these nations, man. And part of the judgment, and he's using you Edomites to do his bidding, man. You know? But he's going to deliver the elect from your hands, man. And it said, And they convert fields and take them by violence and houses and take them away so that they oppress a man in his house, even a man in his inheritance. And that's how these devils roll, man. Ever since they've been in power, man, you know, every time they been in power, they always go to other nations, country, territory, and overtake it, man, by force, man, you know, it always been like that throughout the history of you Edomites, man, you know, you took the lands of Greece and Rome from the sons of Japheth, you know, through Alexander the, 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 the Greek, you know, that how he got that name, took it from the, took him from the, the sons of Japheth, man, Greece and Rome, man, you know. You took the, over the Egyptians, you know, which they are dark-skinned people, the real Africans, the sons of Ham. You took that land from them by force, you know. You took, you know, Europe over, you know, Asia, you know, the land of Israel, which is the, the, the land of you Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans. You took the land from the Native Americans, from the Latino tribes over here in America, you know, which they are Israelites too. You know, that came over here from Israel, man. But every land that you have in your possession today, you stole it by the by the force of the sword, man, by death and destruction, man. Now all these nations are coming up against you now, man, because you're still in that mindset of being bullying, man. Taking and controlling the earth by force, man, because that's all you know, man. To live by your sword, man. To bring destruction. And by your uh, lies, man. Continue on. Uh, that's it on that. I'm going to go to um, Habakkuk chapter 2, verse um, 
4. But his soul which is lift, lifted up is not all right in him. Kind of your soul that which is lifted up, meaning because the most high have you in power, man. But it's your, your, but you're not upright, man. You full of wickedness, man. You Edomites, man. And it said, but the just shall live by faith. And who is the just, man? The Israelites, man. We are the Lord chosen people. And we living by faith, you know, the elect, you know, that we looking for you, how shall to come back and take you Edom out, Edomites out by power, man. And by his power, man, by, by you know, by his force, man. And take, and take you out of power, you know, Salaki. And, and, and that's what we're looking for, man. You know, you devil's going to pay, man. You're going to have to, man. Because if not, man, you continue to rule, man. This whole earth is going to be destroyed, man. You know? There's going to be so much death, man. So much uh, 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 destruction, man. That's why Yahweh Shah say that if you don't come back, you know, and, and shorten the times, you know, that, that there'll be no flesh saved, man, through your rulership or you Edomites, man. You are leaks, man, destroying and depopulating the earth, man. Um, verse um. By five, verse five, ye also, because he has transgressed by wine, he is a proud man. Neither keepeth at home, who enlarges his desire as hell and death, and is as death, and cannot be satisfied, but gather to him all nation and heap unto him all people. Kind that how Esau moves, man. You know. He go to these other nations, push his propaganda, his agenda, and he's sucking them in, you know, and by these sweet words. But really, he want to conquer them, man, by, you know, and he lied to them. At the same time, he got that knife behind his back, waiting for the, the other nation to get comfortable. That he put that knife from behind his back and stab him, man, put him to death, man. That he did the, to the Gadites, man, to the Native Americans, one of the sons of Israel, man. And the Latino tribe, but mainly the, the Native Americans, man. You know, he came over here, you know, and uh, 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 and, and wanted to be peace treaties with him and everything. You know, he made over 500 peace treaties with the Native Americans and broke all of them, man. But he ended up taking the land from them anyway, man, and putting them in reservations, you know. You know, because cause like, like the Native Americans say, Gad, they say these, you know, these Edomites talk with a fourth tongue, man. They mean they say one thing, but really mean another. You know, his his words were smoother than oil, but words was in his uh, heart, man. But war, I mean, Salaki, war was in his heart, man, in his mind. Cause that all he knows, man. How to bring destruction, man. How to how to bring death, man. Um. And it said he desires as hell. His desires are as hell, and is as death. And that what uh, uh, Esau always uh, known for, man. Bringing hell and death, man. So the word hell just simply means the grave, man. You know, sim you know, symbolizes with uh, death, man. Destruction, man. Um, Psalms, chapter 73, verse 6. Therefore pride could pass them as a chain. Violence covered them as a garment. Their eyes stand out with fatness. They have more than their heart could wish. They are corrupt and speak wickedly concerning oppression. They speak lawfully. They set their mouth against the heavens, and their tongues walk through the earth. You know, he kind of the, the, uh, the main thing about Esau, man, his M.O., man. You know, that's all he do. No, no violence. You know, no, know how to bring destruction, man. You know, and it said his eyes stand out with fatness. They have more than their heart could wish. Kind. He saw them gain down there everything here on the earth by the force of the sword. You know, through his blessing, by bringing destruction to the whole earth, to all these nations, and taking over their resources, having the power in his hand. Controlling everything with his military might, with his uh, banking system, you know. But still, 
he don't uh he's not satisfied, man. He still got that greed of, of taking everything over, man. You know, that's why he want to promote this new world order, man. You know, and chip everybody. Like how Habakkuk chapter chapter two said, man. He want to heat to him all nation, man. He want to control all nations, man. And it said, therefore, uh, they set their mouth against the heavens and their tongue walketh through the earth. And that's how the Esau feel about the Most High, man. You know, he figured that if there's no God, you know. And if there was a God, it would be him, man, you know. That way he portrayed himself as being the Most High and the, the, uh, the Heavenly Father's Son, you know, to being the people of the Most High over there with these uh, fake Jews, man, these Amalek, man, which are Edomites, man, you know. And he set his, he set his tongue against the heavens, man. You know, he, he quit, you know, thinking that the Most High, everything that the Lord made was a mistake. And then now he set up to correct it, man. And the only thing, that, you know, he's doing is destroying it, man. Everything that Yahweh Bashim Yahushua made is, is in its perfection, man. But according to Esau, it was a mistake. Now he wanted, he, he going to do it the right way. And his way is the leaving, lead, leading to the, the earth to be destroyed, man. Being defiled, man. Um, therefore his people returned hither waters of a full cup are rang out to him down and he said how do Yahweh know if is there knowledge in the most high because the Lord sees everything man you simple ass Edomites man the Lord the one that set you up man to do all this wickedness man because the Lord controlled both sides man and he's he chose you to be the wicked in these days and times to do all this wickedness so when the nation of Israel and Yahweh shall Put the nation of Israel in power and righteousness, you know, you'll be an example of not of, of what not to do, man. And we're going to be an example of uh, know how to live, man. And that's in righteousness, man. Um, This is Psalms chapter 20, I mean, prop, the book of Proverbs chapter 29, verse 2. When the righteous are in authority, the people rejoice, but when the wicked bear rule, the people mourn. Kind, because now the wicked is in rulership, and the majority of the earth, the nations of the earth are in mourning, man. That's why they're going to come up against uh, you Edomites, man, during this World War III, and bring destruction to you, uh, to mainly to America, because America will be destroyed by thermonuclear fire, man. By the missiles from Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah, man, through the spirit, man. But the majority of the people are mourning, man. And they say when the righteous are in authority, the people are gonna rejoice, man. And these heathens, they're gonna be rejoicing when the nation of Israel is in power through the spirit and power of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah. Although they're gonna go into slavery, but still, they're gonna be rejoicing because, you know, we're gonna put hell on them, but they're gonna come upon a time. You know, after that thousand years of slavery, and you Edomites are done away with, after the destruction of America and of America and, and the nation of Israel kingdom is set up, and you devils gonna be slaves, you know, right along with the rest of you heathens. And when that thousand years period is over with, you Edomites are gonna be done away with as a whole as a nation. Uh 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 and and the heathens, the ones that are gonna be remaining, they're gonna be rejoicing because and they know they're going to be living, living, but we're going to be over them, man. And we're not going to be putting hell or, uh, or, or causing, you know, doing wickedness, you know, like how you Edomites are doing to the earth, man. They're going to have to follow our law, statute, law statutes and commandments, man. This is the book, Ecclesiastes, chapter 10, verse 7. Pride is hateful before man. I mean, pride is hateful before Yahweh and man, and both do one commit iniquity. Because of unrighteous dealing, injuries, and riches gotten by deceit, 
the kingdom is translated from one people to another kind. That how that how Esau gained everything, man, by deceit, man, by destruction, man. So the Lord's gonna take them out of power, man, you know, through their wickedness, man, and put Jacob, Israel, in the power, man. That how this, this the transition is taking place right now, man. That's why you seeing Israelites waking up, man, and you devils being afraid, man, because you coming out of power, man, through the word and through the spirit and power you have by Shemuel was shot. And the earth, position of the earth and rulership is going to be translated to the Israelites, man. Not you heathen nation, man. But these heathen nations, they see America going down. But they figured, you know, China, you know, Russia, they figured they got next. You no, know, through the prophecies and through the scriptures, we had the understanding knowing that the Lord is going to set up the nation of Israel next, man. The Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans. The so-called undesirables in this world, man. But we're going to rule, man. And that's scriptural, man. Let me get this last scripture. This is on um, Second Edris, chapter 6, verse 7. Then answered I and said, What shall be the parting asunder of the times, or when shall be the end of the first and the beginning of it that follow? And he said unto me, from Abraham unto Isaac, and when Jacob and Esau was born, because these are the, the, the two main characters that Yahweh Bashim Yahusha is using in his movie, man, because this is the most high movie, man, Yahweh Bashim Yahusha. And he set up Jacob, which are the Israelites, you Negro, Latino, and Native Americans, against Esau, man, which are you uh, so called white people, man, you Edomites, man, you know? And that's the, the, the struggle between good and evil. Jacob, Israel represent the righteous, the good, and Esau, Edom, you so-called white people, represent the wicked, man. And we're going to overtake you, as the scripture says, man, because righteous always overtake wickedness, man. And positive always over negative, man. Good is always over evil, man. But that's what you devils think, man. Y'all think that y'all going to keep going, man. Y'all think that y'all not going to be put out of rulership, man. But the most High deal with righteousness, man. And it said, from Abraham unto Isaac, and when Jacob and Esau was born of him, Jacob handheld first the hill of Esau. For Esau is the end of the world, and Jacob is the beginning of it that follow. Kind. So Esau is the end of the world, meaning the end of this age, man. The end of this rulership. And Jacob is, is the one that's going to follow. Because Jacob, Israel, through the spirit and power of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh was shot. Yahweh Shah is going to return with the chariots, what the world call UFOs, during this World War III. And he's going to defeat these heathens, man. Mainly you Edomites, man. You elites, man. And when Yahweh Shah returns, he's going to deliver the elect, have these missiles shot off, and destroy America, you know. Then after that, all the all the, the, the ashes and the dust settle, you know. You know, the Lord is going to set up the nation of Israel. The, the, the elect, starting off with the elect here on the earth and set up the kingdom, man, you know, and, and we're going to put you devils in slavery, man, you know, when we when the Lord establish our kingdom over there in the land of Israel, man, and you Israelis, you're going to be destroyed out of that land too, man, you know, but we're going to inhabit that land because that's our land, and the ones of you heathens that are left behind, starting with you elites because you're not going to be touched by the nuclear fire because you're going to be the first ones that's going to go into slavery under Yahweh Shah and the elect of Israel, man, you know, so we about to come into power, man, and when we get in, get in power, the Lord, Yahweh Shah is going to restore and renew the earth, man, through the rulership uh, of the Israelites, man, and everything is going to be set back in its order, man, you know, ain't going to be no more the fallen of the earth, man, you know, transgressing the laws and pushing wickedness, man, it's going to be righteousness, man, during that time, man, and brothers like myself, you know, and, and other brothers like out there, you know, that what we're looking for, man. We're looking for the time of Yahweh Shah returning and setting up everything in its proper order, man. You know, we pray that we'll be part of that election to have the honor to do that with Yahweh Shah, man, and bring you heathens down under the foot of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah, which you're going to be under our foot as well, because we joint heirs with Yahweh Shah of Mashiach, you know. So right now, the earth morning out, you know, end up with a couple of more prophecies that's left. To the point, man, when all hell break loose and the Lord bring destruction here on the earth, man. Two-thirds of his people going to be destroyed and you heathen is going to be destroyed. 
you know, and the ones that's going to be left after all the destruction, after the destruction of America and Yahweh shall return and bring his rulership in, you're going to go into slavery, start like I see, starting off with you elites and the rest of you heathens, you know, and Israel is going to rule, man, and that's what we're looking for, you know, so brothers keep fighting, keep pushing, I'm praying that this um, video may edify to the next time, I'm going to give all praises to Yahweh, Bashem, Yahweh Shai, Bashem, Rakal Kadash. Double honors to our apostles and elders at Great Millstone and Ruel. A salutation to the fellow yokemen, the fellow laboring out there pushing, uh, uh, pushing his word day in and day out. Till next time, Shalom.